Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the creator episodes, I hope you're enjoying the ones I've, I've made so far and you've learned something from them. Um, today we're going to be talking about Apex props, which ones to use and where to use them. So without further mumbo jumbo, let's just get straight into it. So stunt target small. It's fine. I think it's fine to be using it, but you need to be using it the right way. So let's imagine. Actually, do you know what? Let's imagine this yellow line on the airport is a corner. So we're going to put this down like so. So it's just touching the ground there. And then. That point right there is my touching point. And we'll double it up. So we can't be driving on top of it and the legs aren't sticking out. If Rockstar just made their props be a bit more forgiving, we wouldn't have to do all this stuff, but we do. And then we'll pick it up a bit. All right. You can see the leg right there. So we're just trying to keep that underneath. So no wheels can be driving on top of it. And that's it. That's how I use these. If I use them. And I don't use them that much because they're not the best things to be using the majority of the time. Um, I'll chuck something together to show you how to use them and where to use them in a second but right now let's just talk about the number one apex pro which is the hay bale round and this is why soft it's soft to hit um and the visual hitbox is a bit smaller than uh, i mean the visual hitbox is a little bit larger than the, the actual hitbox so there's like a bit of wiggle room so you can get pretty close to these without like something bad happening. Um, but as you can see, these leaves flick out of it. So if you're using this prop to cover something up in the real map, as long as you get those leaves flicking out of it, the hitbox is fine to use. And then you can put things inside of them. So like I use this quite often, like I'll just put one of these in the gaff like so um, and then I'll just check that the hitbox from the that prop there isn't coming through so as you can see the leaves are still coming out so it is fine um, other things you can use is the tire stack you can put them in like upright or you can lay them down I, I tend to like to lay them down um, and then dr drop it into it again like you would place it, rub up against it, make sure the leaves are still poking through. Um, and if so, then it's fine. You can put fire on it. These flags, you can put these flags in on tops. Some people will put the, um, so like the orange railing is right bang on where the apex is. So there a little bit more like that or you can make these like shark fin ones like so and then you would place it rub up against it um something i've been doing lately on a few of my playstation tracks is making like little trees <laughs> so i'd put this like Joshua tree into it as like the the um part of it, and then I put this on top like so. There's like a little tree coming out of it. I don't know why I like it, but I do. So that's that, and that's pretty much like the go-to apex props that we've been using for for ages now. Um. So I just want to like 
quickly talk about some other ones that we haven't been using but are kind of fine to use and it would be this one this one has like a pretty good hitbox it fits into corners quite nicely so what I tend to do is the rings right on the edge of it and then the line the blue line and then I go about halfway between the between those two and that's my point of how I know it's low enough and high enough at the same time <laughs> so that'll fit into most corners as well like large ones or small ones but really your, your apexes just want to be put into like places where it fits so like this is a large corner um anything will fit there to be honest apart from hay bales like you can put these in here so it's about halfway rub it up to the rumble strip come back just a little bit a little bit more wiggle room and then you can put something on top or whatever and as you can see it's like it's gonna it's, it's enough to unsettle the car so it's not making cut in the corner or trying to like abuse the, the apex and the track limits without actually having the car go faster because of it um and i will quickly go over the um Stunt target small. Sorry, my brain ain't quite brain in. It's pretty late at night right now. <laughs> uh, so again, you just like come up to the to the rumble strip a bit, and it's like so that point is not quite in the middle, so it's not quite in the apex. That point there, a little bit back the other way. That's your apex right there. The steepest part of the corner is where your apex is, which will tie in with your checkpoint in. So your checkpoint goes here. Happy days. So let's just quickly go through a couple of corners in the vanilla map. And what I would do to prop them. So th this corner right here, for instance, like I don't want people cutting the corner too much so what I would do is grab my hay bale hay bale round do this little trick so put it on roll roll it over somewhere that looks flat click A or X and then change it to 270 There we go, finally. Steepest part of the corner. And then drop it. So you've got three lines, you want to be one under the ground. Like so. And that's your apex prop on that corner. Um, let's go find another corner. So this corner here actually fits quite well with the... Um, Stunt targets, it's still not advisable. I mean, you don't need something quite quite this massive to be blocking off the apex. But, you know, it fits. Like, really all you're doing when you're apex prop propping is trying to make it fit within the corner in ways that's not going to make it faster to try and abuse the limits without, you know, letting people abuse the limits. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, there's one more thing that you can put on your apexes. Well, actually, no, tell a lie, there's two more things you can put on your apexes. So one of them would be tubes, believe it or not, but not tubes like we used to do tubes. Corner pieces is like a, a soft apex. 
So you drop them down. I imagine this is like neatly placed. Because this is definitely not neatly placed. But that makes it makes your your apex a bit more covering up. So you're covering more of the corner cutting possibilities. Um without, you know, creating too many hitboxes or things to crush into. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you can use tubes that way, but you can like with some bits and pieces just drop either end. So it's a bit more flush looking like this and then lining it up again with the, the rumble strips is using, using the rumble strips as a reference point. And yeah, that's that pretty much, um, Next thing that I like to use, because I like the way it looks rather than what it does, is these ones. So again, middle of the middle of the corner is your apex, and then dropping them in. And I like to just do it like that because it unsettles the car. You're not going to get much of a boost off of there without slowing yourself down but just be careful when placing them because the hitboxes are a bit naff as you can see like I'm driving at nothing right now and the hitboxes screwing me over so yeah that's your apex props next video um, will be the walls like what props to use on walls, and then once we've done that, we're gonna get back in, get into the, the real thicker things, with like blending shit in, with others, um, like blending, your custom sections in with the vanilla map, um, so we're getting there, we're getting there, <laughs> but as always, um, please if you find this helpful for you like share and subscribe not that i like to say those words but i do need them um and every all feedback is greatly ap appreciated and yeah hopefully this is helping you um i'm gonna leave a, a link in in the description where you can join like uh my server um you can ask questions about create process or just if you want some track reviews from from me, then then I'm quite happy to do that, or just talk about the creator or whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Bye.